There is a difference between strategic options and strategic themes that is important to understand. The easiest way to think of the two is that the theme is the parent and the options are the children. Not every company will follow the process the same way, but it is common that strategic options are developed first and evaluated before being grouped into themes. Once management has covered key considerations, like the amount of resource available to implement the options, they will look to group the options into strategic themes. This could be seen as a superfluous step. However, it can be very valuable in preventing companies from taking on projects that may return negative value. For example, a paint company has performed its external and internal analysis and has arrived at some strategic options. These include acquiring a company that provides complementary products such as adhesives, fillers and painting equipment with a retail presence. Utilising their manufacturing lines to manufacture product on behalf of other customers. Expanding their distribution from Australia into Southeast Asia and forming a strategic alliance with an Indonesian timber supplier to cross promote their products into each other's geographic markets. What are the strategic themes here? How do we group these options? One theme could be growing our customer base through product diversification. Another could be growing our presence through entering new geographic markets. Perhaps there is a third of increasing utilisation of our resources. The issue that this company could face is whether these themes are different enough that they require significant investment and resource to action. Can they deliver on all of this? Taking their paint products into Southeast Asian countries is quite different to building a contract manufacturing business in Australia. Of course, each strategic option will need to be evaluated against available budgets, regulatory compliance, internal rates of return and so on. But at this stage, the themes give an impression there might be competing priorities if all options put forward were acted upon. For example, if one option is to acquire a company and another is to form an alliance, then our modes of entry require different levels of focus on aspects like managerial complexity, control of market, political risk, and upfront investment. To recap, a strategic theme is the parent and the strategic options are the children. A company will likely have more than one strategic theme and a number of strategic options beneath that. What is important is through the process of grouping the options into tangible themes, management is able to get a better grasp on the overall effect on the organisation. This will enable them to understand whether some strategic options should be removed so that the organisation does not stretch itself beyond its capacity and capabilities to implement them.